Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to tell you all of the films that I watched during the month of September, so stick around. So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about all the films that I watched during the month of September. I have been watching a minimum of one movie a day since January 1st, so I did get to see a lot of great films during September, some not so great. Um, so I thought I would just go ahead and just tell you a little bit about what I watched. Um, first up, I watched The Faculty. Now this um, movie here, it's been a long time since I've seen this one, um, but it definitely holds up. I was very surprised about how much of it that I did not remember from the past. So revisiting this movie was great and I really enjoyed it. Um, next up, I watched Exeter. Um, as you can tell, this is probably not one of those movies that you would probably have seen. Um, somebody, had, somebody has suggested that I check this one out. I actually had it in the collection. Um, I really don't remember much about it. A bunch of um, young people were in a, I want to say maybe a mental institution, an empty building, and just a lot of weird things happened. It was just okay. Nothing really special. Um, if you really want to check what I, if you really want to check to see what I thought about some of these films, um, definitely look at my Letterboxd account. I do have a link below, and you can see more of what I thought about each film. Not that I actually expounded on what I saw, but I left it, you know, a number of stars, depending on if I liked it or not. Um, I did watch The War of the Worlds, the original. Really loved this film. They did such a great job with this one. Very happy that I finally took time to watch this one from the Criterion Collection. Just a great, um, just a great addition with special features. Um, I did revisit Lady and the Tramp. Um, I don't exactly remember why I watched this one during the month of September, um, but I did. I hadn't seen this one in a very long time also, so it was enjoyable. Nothing really spectacular. It's definitely not one of my favorite Disney films. Okay, the next one I watched is Nebraska. So Nebraska is a black and white film, as you can tell. Um, this film was great. I actually really enjoyed this one. Um, I think I may have gave it four stars, maybe more if it was available. But the movie was just so um, enjoyable, funny, entertaining, sad. Um, so if you have not ever checked out Nebraska, definitely check that out. I really enjoyed it. Another film that I revisited during September is Kramer vs. Kramer. It had been a long time since I've seen this movie. It's got Dustin Hoffman and Meryl Streep in it. Um, I haven't seen this in years and years and years, so I pulled it off the shelf. I watched it and really enjoyed it. Um, it was a lot different than I remember it being. I wasn't really into it as much as I was the first time I watched it, but it's still a very enjoyable film, so definitely check that one out. Okay, the next thing I saw was I saw Shang-Chi and the um, Legend of the Ten Rings, I believe is what it's called. I saw that one in the theater, of course since it hasn't been released yet on physical media. But I saw that one. I really enjoyed it for the most part. I thought it was a fun movie. It was different. Um, and so uh, me and my wife went and saw that one, and I definitely really enjoyed that one. Okay, next up, I saw Jane Got a Gun with Natalie Portman. Um, this one, I do remember watching this one. I really enjoy a good Western, and to me, this was a good modern-day Western um, st starring Natalie Portman. I don't remember much about it other... Yeah, actually, I do remember quite a bit. It was enjoyable. I don't want to give away too much of it, but this is something I would definitely recommend you checking out. It was it was a good film. Okay, the next one is an A24 film that I watched, and it is The End of the Tour with Jason, with Jason Siegel and Jesse Eisenberg. Um, I have been trying to collect as many A24 films as I can, so I recently was able to find one of these with a slipcover, so um, I ended up going ahead and watching this one. This right here was a really good film. Um, it's not the, it's not my favorite, but really good performances um, and just an interesting story, so check that one out if you haven't. So I did watch another Western called Brimstone. Now, Brimstone is another great film. Um, it's dark. It's um, got a really nice cast of characters. I do like a dark western, almost like a, um, I don't know, almost like a ghost story type film. This was more of a story expanding over several, uh, over several years, of course, from 
child from her being a child to her grown up growing up it's not a horror film but it's just dark like a horror film so i really enjoyed that one i would definitely recommend this one the next one i watched is the mountain between us um, I saw this one for the first time. I had never seen this one before. It's been on the shelf for a long time. So I pulled it off the shelf. I watched it. And it was just an okay movie. It wasn't nothing really spectacular about it. It's more of a love story, I would guess. Um, I re really didn't get into it. So eh, it was just okay. So the next one I watched was The Poseidon Adventure. It had been so many years since I've seen this one. This is an all-star cast. It is... Um, a really good story. It is probably one of the first disaster stories that I had ever seen. It reminds me of um, Earthquake, if you've ever seen Earthquake. Um, but this has just got a, a nice older cast, of course, from the 70s, maybe the early 80s. And I really enjoyed this one. I definitely recommend you check this one out. I want to check out the remake that they did um, just to see how it compares. Okay, the next film I saw was Frailty. It had been so many years since I've seen this one. And I really enjoyed this one. This right here, to me, is a nice, underrated um, thriller, horror story. Not really horror, but um, just a good thriller. It's got Bill Paxton and Matthew McConaughey in it. It's Bill Paxton's um, directorial debut. And I really enjoyed this film. And I'm very glad that I got to revisit that. Okay, next up, I saw Drugstore Cowboy. I don't remember ever seeing this movie before, um, but I did get this from 101. Um, I got this from Imprint, and I finally took time to watch the titles that I had in my collection. Drugstore Cowboy um, wasn't really great. I mean, it wasn't really something that I enjoyed. Um, I don't really remember much about it, but it wasn't one of my favorites. Um, but I'm very happy that I did check it out. Um, the next one I saw was The Straight Story. Now, this one here I really enjoyed. This has a really great story to it. Um, like I said, I don't really want to give too much out during this of what I watched. But if you have the chance to see The Straight Story, this is a film by David Lynch. Just a really good heartwarming story about this guy who drives his tractor across a, I think, to another state to see his brother that is dying. And so it was just a really good movie. I really enjoyed that one. Okay, next up I saw Chinese Box. Um, this right here has Jeremy Irons in it. I'd never heard of this one before, but I watched it. It was nothing special to me. It was a political type story, I guess. Um, Chinese government, different things going on. I really couldn't get into it. So, but I am happy that I had the opportunity to watch it. Okay, next up was a second time watch for me. Um, I did watch Days of Heaven. This is a Terrence Malick film. Um, I originally watched this a couple of years ago um, from the Criterion Collection. And then I recently got the um, Imprint Films edition. And so I decided to rewatch it. Just a really beautiful um, cinematography and music and narration. It was just a really enjoyable film. I actually enjoyed it more this time around than I did the first time. So I'm um, very happy to have this one in the collection. Okay, the next movie I saw was Nobody. I did get the Zavi exclusive 4K still book. So I finally took the time to watch this and really enjoyed it. It's a really fun film. Um, I just thought it was very entertaining. Right up my alley. I enjoy fighting. I enjoy I enjoy watching people fight. I enjoy um, the secrecy of it. It just it was just really fun. Okay, the next film I watched was Double Jeopardy. So this was the second time watch of this film. I originally saw this one when it was first released, so I got to revisit this one. Um, Tommy Lee Jones and Ashley Judd did a great job in this movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, I actually enjoyed it more this time around than I did the first time. So if you have the opportunity to watch that one. I definitely recommend that. Okay, the next thing I watched was a, was a Netflix movie, I believe. I think it was Netflix, and it was called Kate. I think it's just called Kate. And it was a fun watch. It was another action-packed movie with fighting and killing and all sorts of different things. It's your typical Netflix film. Um, anything that's action-packed 
It's very similar to that, um, but with just a little bit of a twist, and I really enjoyed that. Okay, next up, I watched As Good As It Gets with Jack Nicholson and Helen Hunt. Really enjoyed this one. Um, this was the second time I had watched this one also, so it was another rewatch. So that's one good thing about watching one movie a day um, for the year, is that you get to revisit a lot of films. And so I'm very happy that I revisited this one. I actually enjoyed it better this time around than I did the first time. Great performances. Um, if you have the opportunity to check this one out, definitely check it out. Okay, the next film I saw was a film that I saw in the theater also. So I saw Malignant. Um, I've been I've been putting it off and putting it off, and I finally just went and watched it. You know, I, I've heard good reviews. I heard bad reviews. I didn't want to listen to too much of it because, you know, a lot of people like to give the plot away, and I didn't really want to be um, have it spoiled for me. So I went and saw it, and I enjoyed the film for what it was. It wasn't my favorite film of the year, um, but it was different. It was um, interesting. I was the only person in the whole theater there, so I kind of knew when I went in that it wasn't going to be the best movie, but it was enjoyable, and I'm very happy that I ha have been able to see it, and I'll definitely pick it up when it becomes available on physical media. Okay, the next movie I watched was um, Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. I don't know why I watched this, but I did. Um, I've been trying to get all of these um, slipcover editions in the collection. So I found this one on eBay and I bought it. So I decided just to go ahead and open it up and watch it. It was not, I enjoyed the animation, um, but the story was kind of iffy for me. Um, I'm, I'm, I wasn't a big fan of it, but if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Maybe you'll like it. Okay, the next film I saw, I believe was the first time watch. I, I really think it was the first time watch and it was Disturbia. I saw where, I want to say someone on Instagram had been watch, had had recently watched this, so I decided I was going to pull it off the shelf and watch it, and I did. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great, a great, a fun film. It was um, entertaining, suspenseful. Um, overall, I think the acting was pretty good. So um, if you haven't seen Disturbia, definitely check that one out. Okay, the next film I saw was Terms of Endearment. This is another one that I've had on the shelf that I haven't watched in a very long time. This was a second time watch also. It does have um, Shirley MacLaine and Jack Nicholson in it with Deborah Winger. And I have been watching a lot of Deborah Winger films here lately. So um, just an enjoyable story. Sad, um, kind of quirky at times, um, but definitely check that one out. Okay, the next one I watched was A Clockwork Orange. I had never actually seen this film before. I always put it off and put it off and put it off just because it just does not look like it would be for me. And so after watching it, I can definitely confirm that this film is not for me. I did not, I did not enjoy it at all. I, I tried to enjoy it because so many people give it such high praises, but it was just really dark and gloomy and I just did not like this film. But I do have the still book now. Um, and I'm happy to have the still book just because it was so hard to get. Maybe another watch of this might change my mind, but it will not be anytime soon. Okay, next up, I watched The New World. This is another Terrence Malick film. I have been trying to watch a lot of Terrence Malick films here recently. I had never seen The New World, really had no clue of what it was about, but now that I know, um, it's a beautiful, it was, it was a beautiful um, movie as far as cinematography and music, just as most Terrence Malick films are. Um, the story was a little bit long. I think I watched the three hour plus version, if I'm not mistaken. I watched the, the extended cut, um, but it was good. It was, it was a story, it was, it was, it was okay. It was good. Um, it is about John Smith and Pocahontas, which I had no clue that that's what it was going to be about. So it was, you know, a historical type film. Um, but anyways, um, The New World. It's, it was good. Okay, next up I watched from the Criterion Collection also um, Broadcast News. Um, it had been several years. I saw this one when it was released in the theater originally. Back in, let's see... 
I forgot what year it was released in. The early 80s, mid 80s maybe. Um, but I enjoyed the rewatch of this. I do think that I enjoyed it more this time around than I did when I first saw it. But I think that Holly Hunter gave a great performance in this. And it was a very entertaining movie, so very happy to have that one. Okay, the next, the next movie I kind of laugh about because it's kind of weird. But I watched the Downton Abbey motion picture. So my wife and I did watch the entire series of Downton Abbey just because it was such a, um, it was a big topic during the time that this was airing. Everybody was talking about it. So we checked it out and we got hooked on it. So I did recently find this for $13. Um, so we decided to watch the film. It was it was, a, it was a nice continuation of the show. If you haven't seen Downton Abbey, I would definitely suggest you check it out. It may be for you, it may not be for you, but we enjoyed it. And it was nice to just revisit the, the story and the cast. Okay, the next up I watched Urban Cowboy with John Travolta and Deborah Winger, another Deborah Winger film. Um, I haven't seen this film since it was released. I saw this one back when it was released in the theater. Um, and I really enjoyed the music. Um, but pretty much that was it. I didn't really enjoy the movie all that much. Um, I thought I remembered enjoying it more than I did. But this time around, it just was just so-so. It wasn't nothing spectacular. Um, but I am very happy to have this one. It is very odd if you notice on this slip cover here, his hand, he was holding a beer bottle. So I don't know why they photoshopped that out. It's kind of odd that they did not include the beer bottle in the picture, but it's really nice looking slip cover. Okay, and the last film that was watched during the month of September is Crash. Now Crash is a film that I hadn't seen in so long. As you can see, three Academy Awards, best picture being one of them. Um, I had not seen this in, for many, many, many years, and so I really wanted to revisit this one. So I chose this and really enjoyed it. It definitely holds up a very interesting story with an all-star cast. So definitely check that one out. Now, recently I watched another movie called Crash, David, Cron David Cronenberg film, I believe. And when I bought that, when I bought that film on the Criterion Collection, I thought I was going to be getting this on the Criterion Collection. And what I got was definitely not this. It was the other Crash, which I did not enjoy. Um, but anyway, that's my story about Crash. So those are all the films that I watched during the month of September. Hopefully you were able to watch some good films during the month. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about what I watched. Let me know what you think about the ones that I liked, the ones I didn't like. I really do enjoy interacting with you and reading your comments and responded back. So please do that if you're able to. Now, during the month of October, I'm going to be doing this a little bit differently. I'm not going to wait till the end of the month to do the whole month. Um, I have, um, I will be watching 31 horror Halloween related films. So I'm going to be going over those each week. Um, on a weekly segment so that on, I believe it's going to be on Sunday, you'll see what I watched for the previous week. So definitely check those out weekly during that month of October. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.